Yeah. You know, now, let me be honest with you. As a single woman, have I fucked with somebody that was once married and it was like, wow, nigga, I can't believe I, I did that. You know what I'm saying? Girls, you know, auntie got to admit the fact that I did that. I met this motherfucker, man, fine as fuck. You know what I mean? And it's like half ass in. It's like, wait a minute. How come you didn't tell me you had this right here? You know what I mean? And it's like, once I found that, I had to do it one more time, nigga, and I let that motherfucker go. I was like, but the motherfucker was a good ass pussy. I had to, I had to, just one more time, you know what I mean? I'm just going to admit it. I'm going to admit mine, you know what I mean? I just admit mine, okay? God's still working on me. I got frailties. You understand what I'm saying? You know, I am a flesh, okay? I am no better than nobody else. I'm not, nothing in this right here. I'm raggedy as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? My mouth is toe out. Huh? Yeah. So then therefore, I know God is working on me. You know what I mean? But I also know that in my personal life, I desire to have security. I desire to be in a union that I don't have to worry about you or you worried about me. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, nah, that's where I'm at in this motherfucking life. In this motherfucking life right now, I ain't trying to play no games with no motherfucking body. I ain't trying to be running and ducking and dodging and stealing and hooking and crooking. For what? I ain't trying to have a harem of motherfucking niggas that I got to keep up with, you know, or they keep up with me. You know, I don't want to be told what I can't, can't do, where I can and can't go, who I can and can't talk to, what I can and can't wear, what I can't eat, when I can pee or whatever the fuck else. I don't want to be told all that. Fuck that. Okay, I'm 45 motherfucking years old. And it's like, you know, as, as, as I'm getting older and I'm realizing more about me and I'm learning me and I'm strengthening my spirituality, and it's just like, wow. It's certain things that I have dealt with in my 45 years of living wasn't always cool. But I can't play the victim because I've done some crazy ass shit too, just like I just told y'all a few minutes ago. Nigga, that was wrong as two motherfucking left shoes. And especially since once I found out I let you do that one more again. I was wrong for that one. Okay? Regardless to what the status was of their relationship or whatever, still, okay, once I found out about that, you know, I should have never let that nigga hit it one more time. But our chemistry was so cold. It don't make it right. It was wrong as a motherfucker. That's something I got to deal with. Okay? But I'm a woman enough to admit where I fucked up at. And that was wrong. I It happened to me. It happened to me so many times in my marriage. Hurting people hurt other people. I wasn't trying to hurt his wife. I wasn't trying to, you know what I'm saying, or put him in no trick bag or nothing like that. We was both attracted to one another. We was both grown. He was going through his thing, apparently, for him to be, you know what I'm saying, even checking for me. Then, therefore, and I was already going through what I was going through. So, then, therefore, boom. And then, in the midst of it, it was like, wait a minute, hold on. Questions that I should ask from the very beginning, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm asking bullshit now. You know, now all of a sudden, now, okay, now the motherfucker come to find out, damn. One more time, no, one more time. One more time. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was like that. Okay? Regardless. You know, I know I'm making a funny about it and all that kind of stuff because it's wrong. It's wrong. That's wrong as a motherfucker. And where I'm at right now, I don't want nobody fucking with mine. I don't. I I, I don't want to be in nothing that wears. I got to worry about you. You know what I mean? Or what the fuck you going to do? What kind of shit is that? You know what I mean? And I also know that that's karmic. So if you up here doing dumb shit, expect that dumb shit to come back on your motherfucking ass. You know what I mean? And so I've had to pay for that transgression. You know? So that's why I'm talking about it now. I know that I've gotten up and gotten over. Any motherfucking man, my baby or whatever... I need you to be completely motherfucking single. I don't need, I don't need, I mean, I understand that, you know, in this day and age and in this era, you know, everybody is just out here wilding out, dating everybody, fucking everybody, whatever they doing, however they rolling is whatever. But as far as I am concerned, I don't want to be played, I don't want no games played with me and I'm not trying to play no games with nobody, okay? That's, that's just, that's just what it is. You know, I'm over here minding my own motherfucking business, trying to do my thing, trying to grow some motherfucking kids up, you know, and trying to make my life comfortable for me to whereas I can live this comfortable life the rest of my life. The whereas I'm just on some zen shit. I'm putting one up, 
Um, you know what I'm saying? I got my oils and my whatever and my whatever, while my whatever, my crystals and shit, my Bible. Nigga, and I'm over here minding my own motherfucking business now. You watching TV and chilling. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's all I want to do. But you know what? That's intimidating. Oh, my God. I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to say this motherfucking shit. And I'm going to get it on out the way because it's on my heart to go ahead on and say it. You know what I mean? That fucks niggas' heads up. When you're financially okay, when when they feel as though, oh, I just can't do this bitch on how I want to because, you know, she seemingly got her shit going on and her shit is already pretty much, you know, so then therefore, it's really intimidating to some men. It's intimidating to some men for a woman to look a certain type of way. Now, they want to look at them bitches. You know what I mean? They want to, and that's, that's crazy because it's all men. All men want to look at these chicks all on Instagram, Facebooks, whatever, and Kims, and whatever, and whoever, and whatever. Black Chinas, and all this kind of stuff. Nigg niggas really want to like that shit. They like it. But when they got that shit, then therefore, it's a whole different thing. Because they don't want nobody else looking. They want to look, but they don't want nobody else looking, which is not a reality. Okay? I've lived that too. A lot. You know, in most of the unions that I've been in. I haven't been in a whole lot, but I've been in enough. You know what I'm saying? I was married over 20 years. But, you know, after my marriage was pretty much absorbed and we knew that it was just a wrap on that, you know, you go through changes before you just totally split off, you know, before you completely save your ties. And, but since that time, you know, I have lived. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I don't have miles on my pussy because that ain't just how I roll. I am a survivor from uh, uh, abuse, sexual abuse from a child, okay? So then, therefore, you're going to either be one of two ways. Either you're going to be very promiscuous or you're going to be stingy with the pussy. I'm one that's a little bit more stingy with the pussy. I got to have some form of connection with you. There has to be some form of chemistry because otherwise it's taking my mind to other places. And I can't be comfortable and give myself to you as I should because my head is two or three different places. So I can't just lay with just any and everybody, meet this nigga down the street and be like, nigga, well, what's happening though? I ain't got that in me. I, I'm not cut from them. You know what I mean? I'm not from that cloth right there. I don't know how that, I don't know where that thread comes from because I, 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 I'm not on that operating system. It's like I'm Apple and that's I am, IBM. I don't understand that operating system. Not to say that, you know, I'm better than or I'm this and this and this. No, I'm not saying any of that. It's just the fact that I just don't fuck with that. I respect what anybody else do. But as for me, I don't fuck with that, you know. I can't because I can't disconnect. I can't fuck without feelings. I get caught up, you know what I'm saying. I be on some love shit real the fuck quick, you know what I'm saying. And especially if um, you're nice to me. If you're nice to me, man, <laughs> if you listen Man, I like a good listener because I like to talk. So if you're a good listener and you're nice to me, I'm not all high post on how people really think. Motherfuckers probably think that, you know, oh my God, she like the best of everything. This bitch just don't go to regular food places to eat. This bitch over here on some Wolfgang Puck shit. No, I'm actually, you buy, we fry, motherfucking chicken spots, huh? Miss Fields cookies and PM juices and drinks. You know, I'm one of them motherfuckers, okay? I like that. But, and and I like a chivalrous man in that degree. You know what I mean? That, that That's going to shower me with those things. I like my 32 ounce, uh, dollar, 09 drink. I'm going to need you to get that for me when I need that. You know what I'm saying? I like uh, Jamba Juice, Strawberries Wild, Almond Milk, Probiotic, Multivitamin. Whey protein. That's me every time. With my military ID, that's going to be three ninety four. I'm going to need you to get that for me. I'm not asking you, oh, okay, well, I need you to... Wait a minute, hold on, because I don't want motherfuckers to be like, well, damn, she was a cheap-ass nigga. He ain't... No, my baby is good to me. But I'm just saying the type of woman that I am. But, you know, those types of things like that mean shit to me. You know, those little bitty things... I don't need you to go and buy, I don't need you to put me in no house, you know, buy me no big ass motherfucking car and all this whole type of shit. All that shit is lovely, okay? All that shit is lovely. But realistically, in this day and time, the way Trump and them got this shit going, nigga, I don't know if motherfuckers will be able to put cheese on a whopper in a minute. The way this motherfucker got it going. 
So I'm already knowing her. And, and that's what intimidates is the fact that, you know, hell, when I'm your friend or when I get to know you and we cool like that, nigga, I'm showing you my motherfucking mortgage statement. Hell, we friends. Why the fuck I can't? Nigga, you telling me that you getting ready to go get a money order for your rent, nigga? Uh, shit, let me show you my, let me show you my motherfucking mortgage statement. You know? Motherfuckers don't like that. How the fuck, nigga, you got 3,000 square feet and you paying five what a month? Motherfuckers don't like that. Motherfuckers do not like that. Okay? They don't like that. And motherfuckers be willing to get to talking down on your shit. Well, yeah, you pay five something, but why don't you do something about this? Why don't you get this done right here? Why don't you do this? Motherfucker, I got 30 years to do whatever the fuck I want to do about this right here. Don't worry about this. Because I've had male and female feel it with your way about what I'm working with. And that's fucked up. You know, because the thing is, you don't know what the fuck I had to go through. You don't know the prices I had to pay. Quit counting my motherfucking money. You know, because I done had that shit too. So now that we're going through this retrograde and shit, and I'm getting all this motherfucking shit off my goddamn chest, the past nine years is all coming to a motherfucking head on shit that motherfuckers done said to me. You know? They're just, just, you know, oh, you look like a man. What what the part of me look like a motherfucking man? Well, then, nigga, you fucking with a transvestite, nigga, because you eat my pussy all the time. So then, therefore, if you saying I look like a motherfucking man, then, nigga, what does that make you, goddamn it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah! Nigga, I was with this motherfucker, and this motherfucker was like, you know, in the middle of an argument and shit. Well, your face is this and this and this, and your cheekbones and this and this and this. You know, your face is getting sucked in, shit. I'm starting to think you starting to look like a man. I, wait a minute, hold on, what you say right now? Yeah, in the middle of an argument, motherfucker said that shit to me. Talked about my cheekbones, talked about how my face is so skinny. And it's like, you know, what's going on? You need to, you know... You need, to, you need to eat so then therefore your face and stuff, you know, your face is getting too this and this and this. I was like, wow, for real? You double chin motherfucker? You goddamn, listen. Before I say some shit that's out of line, okay? But listen, I done had motherfuckers say some real crazy ass motherfucking shit to me. God damn it. And I'm every motherfucking night I'm having all these motherfucking dreams of this bullshit just coming back, different shit. Last night I had a motherfucking dream. I was in the middle of the motherfucking ocean, nigga. And I was trying to swim to the motherfucking shoreline on, on my mama. This was crazy. You know? And different niggas was in the dream too. You know? And I'm like, okay, do I help this motherfucker? Because I know I can swim. I, I grew up with a pool. So it's like, well, shit, swimming ain't a thing to me. So then, therefore, in this motherfucking dream, I'm like, do I help these niggas? Or do I just swim on to the shore? Last night, okay? And <laughs> a few of them, I helped them. I have to say I didn't leave nobody behind. Let me say that right there. I helped all them motherfuckers in that goddamn dream last night. And I'm like, oh, my God, what is... And, and the ones that I didn't want to help, I still helped them, but I was talking shit on every motherfucking stroke. All while I had this motherfucker arm, nigga, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm swimming and trying to get these motherfuckers up out of this water. Sharks and shit. Motherfucking whale jumped out the water on one end. I was like, what the fuck? All this in my dream last night, nigga, some Moby Dick shit just jumped out the water. Nigga, and I'm trying to get this motherfucker over here. Yeah, I was like, man, I've been having these crazy ass dreams. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know what God is trying to tell me. I don't know if I'm just all these life lessons and stuff. That's why I'm on this bitch. If I have to be on this motherfucker every day, I got to release this up off of me. Because whatever this is, somebody needs these messages. Somebody needs this. Because people automatically assume when you look a certain way, when you this, 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 you don't go through no changes. And that's not true. You know, because just because a motherfucker don't have financial worries, that don't necessarily mean that their life is all the way, oh, man, <clears throat> once I get to a point where I ain't got no mortgage, man, I can't wait. You know, then what? It's going to be something else because I was that motherfucker. You know what I mean? And it's like now I can't pay the, I, it, would, it, would, it wouldn't be advantageous for me to pay off 
my home because it's going to put me in a different tax bracket. I need that write-off for my home business and all that old type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore, shit, I got to be smart on so many different motherfucking levels. I got to be smart. I got to be ready to try. I cannot allow a motherfucker to pull me back or hold me back or keep me from, you know, moving forward because I got too many people that I'm plowing and pulling through. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say y'all, y'all keep me in motherfucking prayers because I'm telling you, I I guess this is my calling. This is what God had brought me here, brought me back to do, is to be of service of others, okay? And it's like now all this shit is coming back to the forefront and all these things are coming out. And I'm seeing all these things, all the all of the, 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 the pain and all of the triumphs, all the good shit too. Because it ain't been all bad. Okay, let me just go ahead and say that. It has not been all bad. And even in these key players that have done some stupid ass shit to me, looking at them, because I'm an empath, okay? So looking at these motherfuckers, I'm like, damn, well, that nigga did that, because look how that nigga's really living. That nigga did that, because really, look at that nigga's mental. That nigga did that, because hell, that nigga's hurting. Look at that nigga, look, look how this nigga did this, but hell, look how that motherfucker grew up. You know what I'm saying? It gave me rhyme and reason to kind of look at it a little bit different, like, you know, not to give them an escape or an excuse. You know what I'm saying? Or just shake the shit up under the rug like, okay, well, you did that and I'm cool with it. Now, what I'm saying is, it in my mindset, it's like, okay, that nigga did this because it is. Ain't that a bitch? This motherfucker trying to tell me about... Oh, well, my exes did this and my exes did that. Well, hell, this bitch needed your motherfucking ass. She didn't have nowhere to go. First of all, this bitch wasn't even from here. Okay? So if you was dealing with somebody that was a, you know, excuse me, I don't want to say an immigrant, but somebody that was not from here, hell yeah, this bitch going to wear the same motherfucking panties and bra that you need. This bitch going to allow you to fuck her in her motherfucking ass, handcuff this bitch, hang this bitch upside down, or whatever the fuck else she allowed you to do to her. Fuck her ass or whatever. Hell yes. She's going to be that motherfucker. Because the name for a nigga, that's some jostling shit. I don't want to go back on the pole. I don't want to go back out on the street. I don't want to do this right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing this. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay? And then, too, some of these old-ass men nowadays is fucking with younger women. I'm not saying ain't nothing wrong with that. But what I'm saying is when it's a point of a matter of control... And you want to take your money and dangle it over these young girls' faces, you know what I'm saying, to pay their motherfucking Metro uh, PCS bills and shit? Nigga, you wrong for that motherfucking shit. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Because and a, lot of, a lot of these men are out here playing games with women. They know women are, you know, out here struggling and, and single parents and trying to raise children and all this kind of shit. And, you know, behind the eight ball, some of them. You know, and it's like, you know, a lot of men, they got dependents, but the dependents ain't living with them. So them niggas is there just about doing them. You know what I'm saying? They give the mamas whatever they give them or whatever, and they keep pushing on their end. So it's like, oh, so then therefore I can have me a harem of bitches. I can fuck me about four or five different bitches in a rotation, no problem. Get this bitch a little gas money. Get this bitch right here a couple of dollars. Get this bitch right here at the nail shop. Get this bitch right here. Put this bitch uh, uh, cell phone bill paid. Nigga, and hell, shit, I can do all this shit for all these men, ladies, listen, listen, listen. And then, too, it's going to be some women that's going to be like, well, hell, I needed that $45. You know what I'm saying? I needed that this and this and this. I know what it is, but fuck it. You know what I mean? I know this motherfucker ain't no, no good. I know this motherfucker this, this, this. I know this motherfucker this, 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 but goddamn no. That's the extra hundred dollars a month I'm getting. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, but, you know, that's how some women feel. You know what I mean? And sadly, I have felt that way before in my life. The Whereas I have just rolled with it. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was good or bad, rolled with it because there was a time I didn't have a choice. Okay? So now I'm telling you ladies, okay? Don't take all your motherfucking income tax money and fuck your money off on some dumb shit. On this motherfucking Brazilian hair and Perusian this and this, 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 and that, whatever. And whatever the fuck else motherfuckers is buying nowadays. And all these bullshit ass makeup palettes and this, this, this. And buying bullshit. A whole bunch of trinkets of bullshit. Get your ass stable. The whereas you could roll your own motherfucking boat. You could tell a nigga to go, goodbye, or you could leave. I'm telling you. 
okay? Fuck spending all your money on this bullshit, buying niggas cars, putting niggas in this, and doing this shit for niggas, and this, 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 and this, 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 and you, can, and you ain't got a nigga to call when your motherfucking ass is on the cliff. When you need something, hey, you ain't got no business fucking that motherfucker. You can't call in the middle of the night. You ain't got no business fucking that motherfucker. If you can't call that motherfucker in the middle of the night and say, look, check this out. <laughs> a, a Latin Bell's bondsman or whatever, or whatever. I need you right now. And this motherfucker gonna come to her, I ain't got it right now. I can't do it. And, oh, uh, well, damn, well, what you gonna do? And, oh, man, that's fucked up. Hold on, I'm still trying to wake up. What you say now? See, you ain't got no business fucking with that motherfucker. You ain't got no business fucking with him. Treat that nigga accordingly on some real shit. You ain't got no business fucking with that nigga. Really. Okay? So, girls, I'm just saying, you know, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on in this day and age. It's a lot going on in these relationships. And a lot of motherfuckers is just not being real 100 and honest about you know, motherfuckers ain't being honest with this shit. Motherfuckers want to put up a facade and make it seem like all this shit is this, this, and this. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers want to make it seem like, oh, my husband love me. Oh, my husband, my husband, my husband. Oh, my husband, look what my husband do for me. Oh, my husband, my husband, my husband. When your husband is whooping your motherfucking ass part time. You know what I'm saying? When your husband make it feel like shit. You know what I'm saying? But he done something nice, so I got to post this shit. Check out what my husband done done for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm just throwing out a parable. So please, family. Okay? I'm just, I'm intuitive. So I'm just saying something. I'm not, you know, in reference to anyone. I'm just flowing. Get your ass in a predicament. In, I mean, excuse me. Get your ass in a position. Whereas you don't wind up in a predicament. Okay? That's what I'm saying to you. And if that means taking your motherfucking income tax checks, you know, motherfuckers that's getting this earned income credit and shit. See, now motherfuckers that's on YouTube probably ain't getting it because, you know, we have to do 1099. You can't, you can't get earned income credit if you ain't got no W-2. But, and you know, so, but motherfuckers that got W-2s and was able to get four, five, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars. Motherfucker, you ain't got no business out here buying beat for niggas' cars and rims and helping put in on the twist and, you know, we're going to flip this money and whatever. You ain't got no business doing that shit with your motherfucking money. But yet and still on a random ass Thursday, this nigga's telling you to get out and get all your motherfucking shit or whatever. What? What the fuck is you spending? <laughs> Girls, listen. Okay? And even for men. You ain't got no business. You know what I'm saying? Now, check this out, though. If you stand here with this woman, and you there majority of the days out of the week, why the fuck you can't pay that cable bill? I don't understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? The light bill, the gas bill, the rent, the house payment. How the fuck you can't? And especially if you ain't got no dependents, seemingly. Because a lot of men, you know, a lot of these motherfuckers really got babies and dependents and shit. But yet and still, when you see their motherfucking whip, ain't not now car seat in the back seat of that motherfucker. 